Hold on, let me finish this set. I've been thinking about something. Okay. So I've been thinking about something when it comes to working out. And you know, there's a lot of science behind it. And um, you have to balance a lot of things. You have to balance your diet, the intensity of how you're going to train, and for how long you're going to train, how many reps and sets you're going to do, how you're going to increase the weight over time, how your plan's going to go, all this sort of thing. But there is one real decision, and that is if you're going to stay natty or not. And I think when you think about bodybuilding, the man that comes to mind is Arnold Schwarzenegger. And he was an animal in the gym, Mr. Olympia, movies and shows, he was the governor of California. He did so many things. But he warned against using performance enhancement drugs. And that's what I want to talk about today. Because he was not natty. And he did use these drugs to enhance his physique. To make him perform better in the gym for these competitions. But it makes me wonder. Should they be allowed in all sports? Some people are going to say yes. They're going to say that they're so prevalent. They're everywhere. That banning them is only going to disadvantage those not doping, and it's going to hinder forward progress of the sport. Basically, what that means is there is so much of that going on. Everyone's using the PEDs right now that if we ban them, the people already doing it illegally aren't going to stop. And basically, what they're going to do is the people not doing it are going to get held back. That's going to hold the sport back because I'm not doing it, but all, everybody else is. So I'm not performing as well as them even though they might be cheating or doing something else. Yeah, this, this is true. I don't think it justifies it because it's violating the spirit of the game. That you're not, you're not providing a quality game. It's not integral because you're doing these things that aren't natural. Me and my friends going to play soccer is much different than me and this one jacked guy and this one guy who used PEDs for 30 years. Like it's gonna be a completely different setup. And I think keeping it very similar in skill when it comes to professional sports is a big deal in that front. There's talent and genetics, but taking things in outside of that shouldn't really be allowed. The problem is there are many risks along with the fact that I don't really think it's right. Because it can be very addicting. It can lower your lifespan. Arnold even admits the risk you take being a bodybuilder. He was talking about the drugs you're taking. So you're going to take the performance enhancement drugs. You're going to have to balance the, with more vitamin drugs, as well as other things to keep your body running properly. So you're taking all these pills and things in, and it's not very natural. And it's leaving the body very fatigued, and you're going to die younger than he's seen in his experience. Not with him, but he's, he's seen it with other people working in the gym with bodybuilding over the last years. I think that's a very dangerous trap to fall into, because I don't want to recommend something that does that. And I don't want to take that personally, because we don't know. And it seems very risky. There are still cases to be made for it, though. Because people are like, yes, actually, we can regulate this. It can be safely used. This is fantastic. Yeah, but I still don't think we can use that in sports. We can't use that unless everyone does that. And we don't really want to force them to. I mean, who's really going to say no to making their physique better when they play soccer or something? I get that. But it's not natural. You're, you're, enhancing, you're enhancing the professionals up to another level that isn't even normally achieved. The point is, I can watch someone on TV and think, yeah, they just work super hard. If I work super hard too, I can get there. Well, I can't unless I take PEEs too. And then I'm at risk of dying at 50 because I tried to work up to what they were doing. So it becomes very slippery slope. It's, it's super intricate and stuff. But I think the main thing to think about is, it's not really illegal. You can actually do these without... Um, being like federally charged or anything. I just don't think that in sports, especially professional sports, shouldn't be allowed. Um, that's basically all I have to say on that. That's, those are my thoughts as I've cranked iron, pumped iron, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I think Arnold had a great point about being very risky and that's what always bothers me. The equality and the risk, the risk factor of it all. So with that being said, for those of you who actually do PEDs, no hate at all. I'm just saying that when I look as good as you, it's actually real.